officials have released a validated list with the names of those still missing following the Lahaina wildfire on August 8th. In all, 388 people are unaccounted for. It's far less than the previous count of more than 1,000 people missing. The list doesn't include ages or genders. Governor Green said the FBI consolidated multiple lists and weeded out duplicate names. 1,732 individuals who had originally been reported as unaccounted for have since been found safe. The names released tonight are verified names of people with a confirmed first and last name and a contact number from the person who reported them missing. Anxious residents demanded the county release a list sooner. In a pre-recorded video statement tonight, Maui Police Chief John Pelletier says the county needed time to ensure the list was accurate. We're also balancing that because we do know that once those names come out, it can and will cause pain for some folks that are affected by this. We are asking, if you're on this list, please contact the FBI number provided. If you know the person is safe, please contact the FBI number provided or email mpd at unaccounted at mpd.net. If you know a person on that list who is confirmed safe or someone you know is unaccounted for and their name is not on the validated list, call the FBI office at 808-566-4300 and email mpd at unaccounted at mpd.net. And you can see the names of the 388 people unaccounted for right now on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. County officials are also encouraging those with missing loved ones to submit a DNA sample at the Family Assistance Center at the Hyatt Regency Ka'anapali. Meanwhile, the death toll remains unchanged since yesterday at 115. Crews have searched 95% of the impact zone. Right now, just under 3,000 evacuees are living in hotel rooms and nearly 800 are in Airbnbs. Maui police also released the names of eight more victims. 70-year-old Fa'aoso Tone, 73-year-old Malui Fonua Tone, 39-year-old Solote Tone, and seven-year-old Tony Takafua, 61-year-old Todd Nakamura, 75-year-old Bernard Portaves, 73-year-old Betty Jo Dykeman, and 57-year-old Rebecca Rans, all from Lahaina. In upcountry Maui tonight, hundreds of concerned residents attended a meeting about hazardous drinking water. Our Ben Gutierrez reports from Kula. Hundreds of upcountry Maui residents jammed the Kula Community Center this evening as they were trying to get answers on the water supply that has been interrupted and that they've been unable to use since wildfires hit the upcountry area on August 8th. Maui County water supply officials say that they are still keeping a water advisories in place, which means that residents in the Kula area are not able to use their water, either for drinking, for showering, nor for any other purposes. That's even though the Department of Health and the County Department of Water both say that testing results of 27 sites in Kula showed no contaminants in the water. However, the water supply department director says more testing still needs to be done. And that was an answer that Kula residents found disappointing, to say the least. I came here tonight hoping to have answers, at least a glimmer of hope. You know, we have a potential two weeks, three weeks, and that does not exist. So that's a little frustrating for me. I think everybody, half of my team's in here. Um, you know, in tears and very emotional. Because there's been misinformation out there, and this was an opportunity to provide accurate information. That was great. And in terms of the timing, you know, we, we have we've tested a lot of, we've made a lot of tests in the system. Thus far, we haven't found anything that exceeds health limits. But we can't reopen the system until we're absolutely sure that's going to take additional rounds of testing. Each round, when you collect a sample, it's almost, it's about a week before we get the results. And so and when you get the results, then you can know where to go from there. So just we don't know how long, how often, how many times you're going to have to, how many rounds of sampling you're going to have to do. Other questions remain because other residents voiced their concerns about not having enough internet 
access, which would allow them to see a map, which would allow them to see if they are in the water advisory area. Once again, the uh, Maui Department of Water Supply says that they're going to try to open areas by zones because right now the water advisory area covers a very large part of Upper Kula. More testing will be done, but once again, it's going to be weeks before it can be safely reopened, at least according to the department's director. Meantime, the county councilwoman who called the meeting, Yuki Le Sukimura, says her office will be trying to follow up on all the other questions that were asked but still went unanswered at the meeting. In Kula, Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Network.